Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, you have you see a different background right now. It's because tomorrow they are going to change this big window here that's broken. So I had to because I had over there my table and my filming studio on that side. I had to turn everything around so I will put some space for them to be able to remove the window window and change it tomorrow. So that's what I sit here. Hopefully the light is okay and it doesn't bother you a lot. I do have a window here. I put down the curtain so it doesn't, you know, it's not too much. But today we are going to film or do the full face of Kaya Cosmetics makeup. Now I have plenty of the products here. Uh, some of them I do like, some of them I don't like. I'm here also to talk about products you should try or products you can stay away from. So if you're interested to see everything I'm going to use today and talk about Kaya Cosmetics, then please keep on watching. Kaya Cosmetics is very huge here in Sweden and I think it was like two or two years ago maybe they released the first product and it was this Bips palette the first product of and also I think eyeshadow brushes this is the eyeshadow brushes I think I have other eyeshadow brushes from Kaya Cosmetics I can't find them right now but I do have uh, the eye brushes love the eye brushes I haven't tried the face brushes but I do love the ear this is my holy grip palette I used it so much I used it um, every time I wanted this smoky natural makeup look. I love this palette. Now they have also another palette that I bought. Uh, I do have it but it's right now in one of my drawers. I can't reach for it because I moved all of my furniture to that side. But I'm going to find it here and tell you what it's called. Yes, this is the Bib Signature palette. Now they also have golden bronze. And also, yeah, that's Gold Bronze palette too. I think they also had all shimmers. Can't find it on the website. But I have both of them. And I used this one also, but not as much as this Bips palette. So I'm going to use this one today. And uh, they are eye brushes. I have them here. Um, and I like their products. Uh, not all of them, but I like some of their products. I also have this Kaya Cosmetics The Perfect Prime. This is the full oily skin. They also have this version. I think this one is more red. No, this one is blue. They have also a red one for normal and dry skin. This is more for combination than oily skin. It's what I have. It's a very good primer. It's, is it the best? Not really the best primer. Uh, I think it's good. It's kind of moisturizing, but also it does make my foundation stay long but I don't think it's anything new it's nothing that wows me nothing that I would run out and purchase I've used almost all of the product and I do like it will I ever purchase it I don't think so because there are other products or primers that I prefer more than this one but it's still a good good product it's just not something that I would run and buy then we have the newest launch from Kaya Cosmetic is the It's Iconic Li Liquid Silk Foundation. It's a good foundation. Um, it's a good foundation. <laughs> is it the best? No, it's not. And I think you can find other similar products than this uh, too. I mean, it's. I know the. I know they talk about this product like it's such an amazing product. It does last a long time. I mean, I have a review on, of this foundation on my channel, so I do think it's a good foundation. I'll definitely use it, uh, but is this something new and something that doesn't exist already? No, it's not. It's not going to take place of my other, like Rebecca Stella's or the Catrice foundation that I love so much. So it's a good foundation. It's not something that really brings anything new to my collection. So could you live without it? Definitely. I don't have the face brushes. They also release new brushes that I will tell you to go and buy. I mean, their brushes are very good and I love the eyeshadow brushes and I think the face brushes will be the same quality. So that 
is definitely good. I didn't buy them because I have plenty of plenty, plenty of different brushes. So I didn't need new one and I just purchased these from Cash Beauty. So this is the foundation. It's medium coverage. Um, this is shade 2N. I don't know if I forgot to say, but this is the 2N. And I like the coverage. I mean, I like how it looks on my skin. I like how it feels. It's very light. It's buildable. I didn't kind of manage to make it like full, full coverage, like with a beauty one. But this one is definitely a medium coverage. And I do like it. I just feel like you don't need, need to run and buy it. It's not the cheapest one. Then we have another new release from Kaya Cosmetics. They're also released together with this uh, foundation. I have my hair stuck in it. This is the Kaya Cosmetics Concealer. This is also in 2 and 2 neutral. I don't like this product at all. I'm going to use it today for videos sake but I don't like this product at all I can't make it work at all I can't make it work with any of my um, powders and I can't even make it work with uh, on the eye primer now today I'm not going to use another eye primer because I'm not going to wear this makeup for a long time so that's why I'm also uh, setting my eyes or eyelids with this concealer now this concealer is definitely full coverage and it looks really really good when you blend it into the skin it does have time you get time to play with it a little bit so it's not it's not drying down very fast but for some reason this make my under eyes look so dry and creaky and oh my god every line I have and I have plenty of smile lines but every line I have under my eyes is so visible from this to my eyes is very dry. Everything else gets oily, but that part of my face or my eyes, under eyes, are still dry. Sahara dry. This is desert dry. And I can't make it work with any of the powders I have. I'm going to use now, I don't have, they don't have a powder, setting powder yet, but I think they will definitely release one soon. But I'm going to go in with my um, Charlotte powder and just set my under eyes so it doesn't crease so I, I wouldn't recommend this concealer yes I would recommend the foundation but I would not recommend the concealer concealer it's a big no really a big no I don't like concealer concealer at all uh, I'm also going to talk about this face palette. I have it in Classy, it's the second one. I think they have three or four different, this is the second one. I've used this a lot, I've used this a lot. You get a contour shade, a bronzer, highlighter and blush. Now, they also released single blushes and also single bronzers and highlighters. I have the bronzer single and highlighter singles. I do not have their blushes. But uh, I'm going to contour my face with this contour shade. I'm going to use this kind of brush just to talk about it. Now I do like this palette. Is it something I will recommend? Yes, I would. But if you have plenty of eye um, or face palettes and you are not looking for another face palette but you want to try their bronzers and blushes, I will recommend to actually purchase the singles. Uh, and I'm going to go into single bronzer and I'm not going to use from the palette because I actually really, really like this single uh, bronzer. This is the in shade Gold Coast. And I think this is the second shade. They have different. It's a very, very nice bronzer and it's easy to blend. It's easy to build up. I really, really like it. I need to change my mirror because I can't see anything my monitor. I really love the bronzer, really love the bronzer and I've been using it a lot. So this bronzer I'll definitely recommend. It's one of my favorite bronzers and I 
can't actually be without it. I do love the, this bronzer and I love it more than the one in the palette. They are not same texture. I mean, I don't say the one in the palette is bad. It's actually not. It's a very good face palette. So if you want to have everything in one palette, yes, go for the palettes. But if you don't need everything, I will definitely, definitely recommend the bronzer like the single bronzer. Now they have also blushes, singles. I don't have them because I have plenty of blushes, but I will also recommend those blushes because they are the same texture as these instead of those in the palettes. I don't say the palette is bad. I just say that I prefer this texture. You see, it's a very nice, also very buildable. So it's sheer, but you can you know, build it up to the intense that you want. Let me just show you. And I love my bronzer to be very intense. So I go crazy, go bananas when it comes to bronzer. So I really like it. So I will definitely recommend the bronzer. It's one of my favorite, favorite product from them. Really, really like it. So very nice. I am going to go and use the blush from the palette. I have a hair or something here. Uh, use the blush in the palette because I don't have another blush but I have this and this one is called just a blush in this sassy palette or classy palette sassy or classy classy palette they are pigmented I mean they are easy to blend see very pigmented so it's a very good blush I just prefer the singles This one is very intense too. So I did went a little bit crazy with my blush, but that's me. Okay, so far so good. This is how my face looks and I really like it. Now, I also really love and will recommend the highlighters in the same um, formula as the bronzers and blushes. This is one of the best, best highlighters I've used that has that na nice natural wet look it, you can have it very soft and very wearable every day but you can also you know build it up to get very intense or being very intense so i really like this highlighter this is in shade sydney i also have i will link all of the videos i'll link them up here or down below where you can see me talk and go and go deep into every product that I purchased from Kai Cosmetics and also these I think I have two or three shades I swatched really like this one but I'm not going to use it in this video because I do want to talk about my favorite products liquid highlighters I had it two shades this is the bronzer beach and also pearl beach bronzer beach the is the second uh, shade I don't know how to Let's just put some here. Um, it's a little bit deeper. I use it under my foundation or blend with my foundation. This is the lighter shade. This is the, what's called pearl swirl. And this is the second. I really like this. I use this deeper all over my face uh, after my primer to actually make my foundation look more glowy and I love love using it together with the foundation oh my god it's so good so I do use the darker shade but the lighter shade as a highlighter is a dream this is the best uh, liquid highlighter I've ever used definitely it's very soft but also very buildable and you can use it everywhere, on the body, on the face, under the makeup, on top of the makeup. It give, gives you that natural wet look, doesn't remove the foundation, it can be built up. But I love using this when I want my face to look wet, not too intense, but also, you know, give me that healthy glow. It's definitely definitely this highlighter and it won't remove the foundation or the makeup it's just perfect liquid highlighter so if you like liquid highlighters i will definitely tell you to purchase this one you get a lot of product 
and um, I'm obsessed, obsessed with these liquid highlighters. Definitely a uh, must have, in my opinion. Definitely a must have. So Care Cosmetic is a very good brand. It's cruelty free and also vegan. And also they, they have uh, okay prices too. They're not the cheapest, but also not the, you know, too expensive. Now let's go also into my other favorite and it's this first bibs palette oh my god so i use this so much uh, i think this is one of my most used palettes and i am going to use their brushes uh, this is care cosmetics number three and i am going to go into this uh, hmm what i'm going to do today yeah let's go into this shade here tokyo this shade here tokyo I mean, I really like this palette and it blends like a dream. If you're a beginner in makeup, definitely purchase this. And also if you're scared of color, this is something you can build up to be more intense, but also very good natural palette, everyday palette. I've used this when I went to interviews, when I had important meetings. I knew that this will never uh, fail me. It's very fast. See how fast this is to blend. It's very fast. Now I used the concealer as my ba eyeshadow base. I never go and use that because it always looks patchy and my oily eyelids can't keep, you know, can't keep the color. But today we are going to just go for it because I am going to go and Take a shower, wash my hair, and remove this makeup. But this is so fast. It's definitely a must-have. If you need neutral shades, palettes, this is definitely one to go and buy. I love this one. I'm also going to go into this Santa Teresa color with the same brush and blend the edges a little bit and go deeper here. I just love this palette. I used this one so much on my channel last year and on my Instagram. And their brushes are very good eyeshadow brushes. Then I'm going to use their smaller brush. This is number two. And I am going to go into this, oh my god, this is a beautiful shade Paris, this dark chocolatey brown, this one. Um, it's very pigmented. So I am going to just see this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. If you need to choose between those two palettes that I have, uh, this one and the bronze one, I will tell you to buy uh, this one because I like this one a little bit more. If you want to see me creating a looks with that other palette, just let me know down below and I will try to reach for it. I will be able to actually grab it when they fix my windows and I can return all of my stuff back where they should be. I'm going to take this brush we used before without adding eyeshadow, just blending this deep brown shade. This is beautiful. I'm going to use my fingers because I love using my fingers with this and go into New York shade. These shimmery shades are so creamy. I, I think I pr this is my favorite um, shimmery. Look how this is so easy to use. Minimum fallout, just perfect. That's it. This is very fast. I really love this palette. I forgot how much I love it. <laughs> it's been a while since I used it. But everything else, the formula is still the same. Still works perfectly. My favorite eyeshadow formula. And that's why I bought the other one. Even if I don't use it as much this one is because I love the formula. I can trust it and I know it's 
Now we're going to fail me. I'm going to clean the small brush from Kakuzmati. I just want to use their brushes today for the eyes. I am going to take this brush again that I cleaned and go into this white shade here in the center of my eye like this. See how easy it is to use this. Magic on the eyes. With the same, I'm going to go to the Stockholm down here. And just blend it. And I want to use different colors just so you can see. But I mean, I created so many makeup look with this palette, this palette on my channel, so. Just search for DD5 and Kaya Cosmetics. Oh my god, so stunning. Going to also into this Milani, this shade here. With the same brush and just blend a little bit under. To bring some light down here. Ooh, cute! Love it, love it, love it, love it. I am going to go in and use the eye brightener. It's one of my favorite eye brighten brighteners. Uh, it's from Kat Cosmetic. It's very creamy, so don't press too hard because it's going to be a little bit messy, but I love, love, love this one. Um, it's very nice. And now I had to go very close to my mirror because I need to pull down my eyes so I can see what I'm doing. It's very creamy. Beautiful, one of the best, and it does last a very long time on the eyes. Now, I want to talk about something else. Uh, they have mascaras, and now let me just show you. They also have eyeliners, I didn't bought all of them. Now, they have five different mascaras. They have the first Bibs Boom Boom Lash and Vans Vava Va Volume. It's two mascaras that I used before from Kara Cosmetic. They are very good. So I do recommend those two, uh, these two mascaras. Now they dried a little bit fast, but it, they are beautiful. I haven't tried the waterproof mascara, but I do have this Space Intense. And <laughs> I don't like the Spency Test as much as those other two. And I think the reason is this big, 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 huge wand. Look at this. It's bigger than my eye. And I always destroy my makeup when I try to use this every single time. So I'll, I will try it again today, but I can't promise that it's going to look good. Can't promise that. I think I'm going to ruin my makeup just because this wand is too big and it scares me a little bit. My eyes are very small. I don't get why it's this big. I can't talk. So this is the one coat with this mascara. So it's not a bad mascara, not at all. But oh my God, this one is so big that I, I always ruin my makeup, especially when I'm in hurry. So this is the second coat. So I got mascara under my eyes, but I'm going to clean that later on my lower lash line. So this is two coats with this mascara. It's a good mascara. It's not bad, it just, I can't see past that one. It's huge. Um, okay, so somehow I succeeded a little bit better to put my mascara on. I did got some mascara. This concealer looks terrible, really looks terrible. I like the foundation, so the foundation is definitely a good one, but I don't like the concealer. Okay, let's go to another product. Now, eyebrow products, they have really good eyebrow products. I do have their Kaya Precision Brow Dark pencil in dark brown and also their uh, full brow gel. Now this gel is good. Is it the best? I mean, it's okay. It does hold up my hairs in place. You see, now I got the mascara here too. This mascara is messy. 
So this is very precise, it's very fast, it does last long on my eyebrows, so I really like this eyebrow pencil. It kind of reminds me of NYX one, so if you like NYX one, you're going to like this one. So I can see, my rep see myself repurchasing this again. Um, but there are other very good eyebrow pencils all day, but if you want to try them, why not? It's not bad. And I also like this eyebrow gel. I mean, it's not, you know, if you have very long eyebrows and you want them to be glued to your head, no, this one won't do, but it will keep a little bit of your hairs in place. That's the eyebrow products. Now, they don't look the same, but they never do. Let's go to the lips. I do have three of their liquid lipsticks in shade Pretty Nice, My Darling, and the Unique Angel. My Darling is my favorite one. So we are going to put My Darling on the lips. No. I think this is too old because they don't smell the same as they did in the beginning. And I've been having them for over a year now, so. What I want to say about this lipstick is less is better. If you put a little bit too much, it's going to look a little bit heavy. But if you put a little bit, you know, and then tap around with your finger, it will look very nice. So I think that's all. Yes, this is everything. This is the full face with Kaya Cosmetics. And I really like it. They don't have the eyelashes. They do have, let me show you. They do have eyeliners that I haven't tried and they do have bullet lipsticks, uh, lip gloss too that I haven't tried, but that's also something new on their website. But I do recommend their lipsticks. I know my friend has them and she really, really likes them. So what I would recommend, I would recommend you to, yes, try the foundation. Why not? It's not bad. I will tell you to stay away from the Kaya Cosmetics concealer. No good. No good. I've seen now four videos and neither of those girls that tried those like it. Uh, I will definitely re recommend the bronzers, especially the singles one. Love them. One of the best quality. Definitely these single highlighters too and also these kind of blushes. Very, very good products. Yes, you can purchase uh, these uh, primers too. It's very good primer, but it's not, you know, the best, the best out there. Um, it works, it does work, it does the job, but it's nothing, you know, wowing, nothing special. Something special that I think you do need is these liquid, liquid highlighters. Can't live without them. I will repurchase all the time because it gives me that nice glow. It also gives me nice glow under my foundation or mixed with my foundation. I just love, love them. And uh, they have three shades. I would recommend these if you want a palette. Now this highlighter is, oh my God, it's beautiful, but it's a little bit too deep for my skin tone. But it, I do, did have a lighter one palette that I got, uh, gave to my sister. She really likes it. So I will recommend it, but I think the singles are a little bit, a little bit better. It's not, it's a good product. It's very good product. But if you want something a little bit better, that's the singles. Eyeshadow palette, definitely. I mean, oh my God, I love, love these palettes. Uh, especially this one. This one, this one is my favorite. I love the eyeshadows, and I would definitely buy their new eyeshadows. Even if I had those shades in my collection, I would buy them because I love Kai Cosmetics eyeshadows. Lipsticks, I do love. Brushes, beautiful. I recommend them too. Recommend this eye brightener. Um, yeah. So I do really love Kai Cosmetics products, and um, 
I will continue buy from them every time they release something new. It's because I really like them. It's a trustful brand. It's a good brand and I love it. So my hair is a mess, so don't mind that. But I really like how my face turned out or how my makeup turned out. They are setting powders, uh, setting sprays. I uh, didn't try the setting sprays, but I know I sent uh, both of them to my friend Valerie. She loves them and recommends them. I know one of my friends also tried them, really like the setting sprays. I didn't got them for myself. It's because it's more of those um, glowy kind of setting sprays, but I'm going always for the matte version. So when they release the matte one, I will buy it. But until they do, I won't use those because I get very oily during the day. I need something that will keep my oils in control. But this is the makeup. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely recommend it. I think I will get rid of the lipsticks right now because I think they're too old, but definitely we purchase them. Uh, these must be over two years old. And they kind of have now that weird scent uh, that don't smell nice like they did before. So I think they are a little bit too old to use so buy new ones instead but i like the makeup i love the eyebrow products i recommend those too so most of the products from kai cosmetics i really like i just don't like the concealer that's the only product i would stay away from and i used it today also looks very dry under my eyes i used the charlotte timbley one uh, powder just a little bit you saw me using it i didn't bake i didn't you know put a lot of powder but it still looks very dry and textured so I don't know what's wrong with this one but just a big miss for me but that was everything guys let me know down below if you tried anything from Kai Cosmetics what do you think about these products thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell I think I already said that once but it's because you're watching it you're all watching my videos but you haven't subscribed I know that because I see you don't forget to subscribe Hit that notification bell again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!